Welcome to the Sonic Shaman Show, home of the Coffee Connect and Conscious Connections. The show is dedicated to empowering you to perceive, know, be, and express your unique voice in this world without the fear of judgment of others through healing, coaching, and educational services. In each episode, Hank and his guests offer tools, techniques, and inspiration to help you step into your potency. Now, here is your host, Hank Settela. Good morning, everyone. I have Heather McMillan on with me again. From, Good morning. <laughs> she is a certified facilitator from Access Consciousness. And today I thought what a wonderful topic to start with as uh, just what else is possible. It's like the magical question you could ask to shift the energy around almost any situation. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, where have you used this question recently to create something different? <laughs> oh, well, recently, I can't think of, I use it all the time, but like one notable time is we were in Florida and we had gone, uh, taken the kids there for a vacation. My wife has like, her company has a timeshare there and we're, oh. at sea, we're at SeaWorld and online I had bought, they call them like, uh, like a fast pass type of thing, but we bought them online. So it was only on my phone. And I walk up to the customer service. I'm like, I want to get one of those bracelets. She's like, oh, well, you bought it online. You can't have one. And I'm like, well, what else is <laughs> like? What else is possible? Don't and she's tell like, a humanoid they can't have something. <laughs> no, but but I, I, you know, say, well, what else is possible? And like the question totally took her out of a, out of that space. And she's like, well, I don't know. And she starts looking, and she's like, well, no, if you bought it online, then you have to show it on your phone. There's really nothing else we could do. I'm like, well, what else is possible? And I just kept doing that. And, the, and then finally, she's like, well, you know, I can print this off, and you could have at least a paper instead of the wristband, so you don't have to keep using your phone all day. And then I was happy, you know. <laughs> but 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 truly, like, oh, and I have one other story with us from uh, Ryan, who's a mutual uh, friend of ours. At Goddess Elite, which is this metaphysical rock shop, she had bought these huge, like 500 pound statues, these wood carvings from different gods like Ganesha and Sark. Um, oh, the name just went out. There's a Buddha one and another one. And the guy was parking like 10, really far away from the store. And he kept saying, well, no, the truck's too big. It can't fit there. And Ryan just kept saying, what else is possible? What else is possible? <laughs> And before you know it, he's backed the truck up all the way right to the door and actually has been inside the building a little bit. And when he finally unloaded these huge statues, we didn't have to move them hardly at all. <laughs> so that's just two little fun stories about what else is possible. But it's, it's that potent. And it's not an open end or a closed ended question where people say yes or no. It engages the brain differently, like we were talking on our show yesterday. And people really consider, well, what are the possibilities here? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it's it's fun for things that are big and small. I mean, it's magic with parking and with so <laughs> many other things. I'm just typing the what we're talking about in the chat here. And then I also thought about a cool, fun thing. If you're watching us for the first time, these little streams in the morning, we stream for about 15, 20 minutes uh, up until I have to wake up my son for school. <laughs> But I, I was going to put Heather at the spot today and like five minutes before we're done, I was wondering how much fun would it be to have a clearing of the day? Like just something to give oh, people yeah. a little bit of of uh, something they can use throughout the day to continue to create change in their lives and everything. And for people who don't know what a clearing is, maybe you can uh, explain it just for a brief, like the, the Cliff Notes version of it. Yeah. For those of you who haven't been watching the show or haven't heard of it, it what we're talking about is the access consciousness clearing statement. And when we ask questions like what else is possible, it brings up energies and we can use the access clearing statement to clear those energies away. And it's designed to bypass your intellect and your logical, rational mind and really get at the energy of what's creating a limitation and the insane points of view that are actually creating what's keeping us from being aware of what else is possible. And, oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> uh, I was excited we have uh, Nikki uh, Davison just saying, she keeps seeing us, just not catching it. Glad to join today. Hey, Welcome, Nikki. I'm so glad, glad that you're joining us. Cool. Yeah, because I always, I know that we're streaming a little bit earlier than um, we yeah. had been before. <laughs> But it works out so time. perfectly yes. because if we waited till after the kids were up, then uh, my whole availability shifts so much. So I'm so glad people are catching on and they're waking up with us now. Yay. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, you know, funny thing with the clearing statement for people, when, when we get to that part, or maybe we'll just talk about the clearing statement today because yeah, we never not? we never know what we'll, <laughs> we'll talk about. A, a funny story with that, years ago, uh, Ryan, who was, is one of my uh, colleagues or whatnot, he was at an event where Andrew Gardella was just starting out. Like he was uh, still doing all these little metaphysical shows in Ohio and everything. And he was doing a talk and he went over the clearing statement and Ryan heard it. He's just like, that's a bunch of bull crap. You know, <laughs> and and he he didn't pay, pay too much. Weird words. What are they saying? <laughs> it, it is it is really weird, weird words. And then years later, when I'm asking him because I've double booked myself and I needed somebody to host a class that I was here hosting for Carol Bukowski, who was in who's in the foundation class this weekend, he was like, "Oh, I don't know about this." So he's like, "Well, I'm just going to bring my laptop. I'll work through the whole thing." And then she was short a person, so she needed him to participate, and so he kind of got drug into it. And then afterwards, he's like oh my gosh, this is such a potent tool. So what I would encourage people to do is let the logical mind go, well, this doesn't make any sense, but what is the energy behind it and what can it do for you? Because how often do we, we shut down to a possibility because the logical mind can't make sense of it? And if that were the case, then I wouldn't have gotten into access because Ryan wouldn't have gotten into access all because we thought that that was like a, some crazy talk that that was talking about the <laughs> clearing statement. Well, it's, and, and it, they are the words right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine shirts, boys and beyonds. And, you know, actually, and I'm not sure if you've heard this story, the first time I ever heard those words, it was in a video and it was someone who didn't credit access with it. Though I said to the person I was with, I was like, what is this person saying? Every time they say it, it changes the energy in my world and in my body and I get lighter. So I just kept watching this video over and over for a couple months and then and then eventually I discovered you know what that clearing statement was but it what the beauty of it is that you don't have to understand it you don't have to have studied it you don't even have to have it right you could even just say whatever those weird words were that they were talking <laughs> about on that podcast you know and it will still work for you well, that's my favorite thing in class, as I say. And if you don't remember what I'm saying, you could say everything Hank would say, or better yet, everything Gary and Dane would say. Yeah. <laughs> and Gary yeah. and Dane are the founders of Access Consciousness because it really is about the energy. And it's wonderful. Sometimes you have uh, children in class because with, with Access Consciousness, children all go to the classes for free. And then between mm. certain ages, when they're older, it's that's like half fun. price or whatnot. <laughs> they'll be just being playful and they'll be like just saying random things but the energy still works because it is about the energy and the intention or the allowance to drive it all yeah and wow i mean the kids who come to access how did they get so lucky i mean could you imagine having these tools being able to ask a question like what else is possible when you were like five yeah. <laughs> in school <laughs> oh my gosh and my kids are getting a lot through my osmosis. And Max was like, we have a foundation class this weekend and I was going to bring Max, but uh, there might be other points of view uh, about mm -hmm. taking kids out of school. And what so, else is possible? Yeah, what else is possible? So <laughs> I, I will need to, uh, we'll have to plan one in the future for right after school's out or something like that yeah, and have a, a, a good one. class. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Get the yeah. kids. Cause yeah, I mean, then what amazing possibilities are available to even just play with this tool, like taking the next day or so, and just for everything, everything fun, everything crunchy. Okay, well, what else is possible here? And for the clearing tool, whenever you have something come up in the world, you just need to adapt. Like, cause you, you can tell sometimes you just walk into a room and like the energy's off or, or, you, <laughs> or some, something happens and you just know something's off or somebody says something to you and it yeah. triggers something from childhood or anything like that. Yeah. You, you can do it without having to make an elaborate question for a clearing statement. You can just say all that that is, everything that crazy <laughs> Lady Heather said. And even that you're acknowledging the energy and opening the door to a different possibility. Yeah, I mean, one clearing statement I run all the time because you don't have to have you know elaborate training in this. And even if you do, sometimes it's like, okay, well, everything that this is, everything that allows this to exist, everything that's, you know, creating this, I now destroy and uncreate it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Oh, you'll love this comment, Heather. Nikki says, I literally have goosebumps all over my body. I love these words. What else is possible? It clearly what wasn't else? by chance I'm watching today. <laughs> that is awesome. Awesome. What else is possible? Yeah. 
And that is like the best solution for one of, there's five words in access that we tell people to, to avoid. And one of those is the question why. And one reason for that is that when you say why, it's like creating this loop. It's like, okay, universe, why is this showing up? And it's like, here you go. Here's another experience of why it's showing up. Well, instead of asking why, what would it, what would it be like if you asked what else is possible yeah. or what energy could I be to create a different possibility around blank showing up in my life and everything that doesn't allow that, then you use the clearing statement. So we can, you can kind of weave these tools together as you get comfortable using them. And then it creates like just a whole nother, that's like potency to the 10th power at that point. Good morning, Mark. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, oh she, she's not in Heather or she's not, in Heather. she's not. <laughs> In Cleveland, I, yeah. I'll be in Cleveland tonight. Yes, I yeah. will. <laughs> but yeah, this will be our. Well, we may stream before class, so that's always yeah, a possibility. That too. would be really fun. Yeah, or maybe we'll do one from class. Like, hey, what's up? No, <laughs> <laughs> but that would be fun. So, but if you guys have any questions, uh, one thing that we love, and as we continue to get more people tuning in every day when we're on, I'm sure we'll get, uh, start getting questions about what's going on in your world. And what, uh, we can then dive into the access consciousness tool bag and see what tool we might have that will create a different possibility for you. But what would you say, what's your favorite clearing statement? Like, could you have, like, I know I like mm -hmm. wake up every morning saying, how can I have more of me today than any day before? How much magic I can I that. create in the world today? There's, there's good little questions that I like to start the day with and then follow it up with everything that doesn't allow that. I destroy and I create it and go through the clearing statement. Do you have any personal favorites? Well, I mean, one of them I run in every class, as you know, everything that doesn't allow us to have more fun today than we've ever had before. Can we destroy and uncreate all of that? Yes. Right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And if, um, just FYI, if you are curious about the clearing statement and want to watch a cool video on it, Dr. Dane here has one at theclearingstatement.com. Um, where it's explained and, and we cover it in, in bars and foundation class with access consciousness. Um, another clearing that is my go-to, especially when things get confusing or weird, or I'm not sure whether to choose something, <laughs> what energy, space, consciousness, and choice, magic, miracles, mysteries, and possibilities can my body and I be that would allow us to have total clarity and ease with all of this? Ooh. And everything that doesn't allow that can we destroy and uncreate it all. Yes. Right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. That's one that never, I never tire of that one. I've been running that one for eight years, probably. Interesting. So what entities could be at play here? <laughs> she says, Heather, you keep saying good and bad, and then I lose you. Laugh out loud. Mm. What is what is it that you're saying, and what does that mean? <laughs> so first, any energies or anything that is trying to prevent the words from being heard, we can uh, <laughs> invite them to a different possibility. I'll just do that one in my head, though. But why don't you go ahead and... Um, uh, say it again. And for that clearing statement, Jason Ford gave us the website. So oh, I'll thank you, for Jason it. Ford. I appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, that good and bad has a whole explanation. And Dane here does a great job of explaining what all that means. But basically, it's anything that we've made really good about something, really bad about something. And oftentimes, it's the things that we've made so good, so right, so perfect, so correct, that actually keep us more stuck than the stuff that's more uncomfortable. Because we're receiving that hit of positive judgment for something. Um, and all of that doesn't allow us, that keeps us in a box of judgment. Well, you know, actually, I have the awareness now that she might have been referring to the next part of the phrase, which is pot and pock, and what that <laughs> means. And that would make sense because that's an acronym for something yeah. else. So it's probably pot and pock. Yeah, and pot and pock stands for the point of creation of something. It's the acknowledgement that everything that we have going on for us, that we have chosen, that we have created, it's actually incredibly empowering. Uh, the tagline of access is that it's empowering you to know that you know. Yeah. And Mark is joking about this, but he's asking <laughs> if you can say the statement backwards. No. I love that question. 
Yes, you can. <laughs> and, and I find myself like, especially if I'm teaching a class or if I'm doing a like a bar's trade night and it's people that are very familiar with access, I sometimes get the awareness that I want to say the clearing statement in a different order, not necessarily completely backwards because it, it well, I don't know the reason why. Well, I do know the reason why. It's just because <laughs> when people ha hear yeah, that and it kind of, put, yeah. when they put on an autopilot, all of a sudden you change something and it engages the brain differently because it's no longer background stuff. It's like, oh, something's different. I have to pay more attention. So I think it's just like a little hooking trick or whatnot to get the brain to pay attention more. And she said, thank you. Wow. Just wow. Thanks. I'm so <laughs> glad you are enjoying it. That's awesome. Yeah, this is so much fun. And this is the the part of access that I was so excited about when I discovered it, because I'm like, oh my gosh, this is all energy. We can just destroy it and create it. And everything just started getting lighter and easier. So I've really, over the last years, really devoted so much energy to discovering new clearing statements. And there's actually, it's changed so much over access has been around like 25, 30 years, the clearing statement has become incredibly condensed. It used to be very long. Yeah. <laughs> so, so in access, if, when you take certain classes, you have access to purchase like the reference materials, which I got. Mm -hmm. And I, it's like literally I condensed it into one PDF and it's like t over, uh, almost 3000 pages of, yeah. of past data. And the reason for that is every single year access has one class called global where they literally rewrite the manual and based on the questions coming up in the class, based on reading through the manual and seeing what feels light, they take things out, they add things back in and they're on the cutting edge of changing as the world changes. And we talked about this yesterday. What would it be like if every every year, like our world governments and everything <laughs> said, you know what, based on what's changing the world, let's like wipe everything out and start from scratch and create what's gonna create the most. Like what world would we live in? How much awesomeness would we be in? Or maybe I that would be mean, a lot of chaos, but I, I think it would be a, a step in the right direction. <laughs> Well, I mean, that when you destroy and create, like you're talking about, you're you're really creating from the question of what's going to work, what's going to create greater for everyone, what's going to be more fun, and yeah, what else is possible? <laughs> yeah, and Nikki was just saying, it was a pleasure spending my morning with you all. Thank you for sharing the link, Jason. Hope you all have the most amazing day. I hope you have the most amazing day, too. And just in these, if you have a question or a comment, you can still type it. We have just a few more minutes uh, before I have to run to wake up the kids. But what <laughs> I wanted to throw up here, uh, and if you're watching this on a replay, you can still go to this website. It's gonna have mm -hmm. any upcoming access events. It's just emergence of being backslash possibility. That's my center in North Olmsted. We have a bars clinic night first Thursday of the month where you just show up, love donation, get your bars run. If you're a practitioner, we have a practitioner swap night on the third Thursday. And then we awesome. have things that come up sporadically, well not sporadically, we're bringing Heather in <laughs> from Maryland to teach a bars class this one uh, Thursday and a foundation class over the weekend, but there always be something. After that, there's a money class. So we're really looking to do these streams to get the information out there. But for those who want to dive a little bit deeper, there's always going to be something going on where you can take a little bit of a, a deeper dive with Heather or myself or another facilitator of access. Yeah, you guys just had a pop for the Global Foundation. There was one at the Center for the Choice of Possibilities, which is one of the advanced classes of access. So there's lots of juicy, good stuff happening there. Awesome. Yeah. And Mark, I actually love this. I know you're joking, but it says my clearing statement is a bit shorter. <laughs> F the BS, let's have fun. And everything that prevents that, destroy and uncreate it. Yes, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Awesome. Very and cool. hopefully Mark will be joining us. I talked to him yesterday. I know he's still Yay! thinking about it. But you know, if it's possible, possible, Mark, you are, we look forward to hopefully seeing you in class on Thursday. But with that, I don't see any other comments. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your morning with us. Yes. Any any final word, Heather? Oh, well, you asked for a clearing statement. Oh, yeah, that's um, right. So <laughs> what energy, space, consciousness, choice, magic, miracles, mysteries, and possibilities can we in our bodies be to be the magic the joy, the fun, and the laughter, and the possibilities we truly be for all eternity with total ease. Everything that doesn't allow that, can we destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. <laughs> right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Just throwing you in at the deep end. <laughs> <laughs>
That's wonderful. So rewind that, everyone. Watch that a couple times. Write it down if you'd like. Or you can also say everything that that Heather lady said, I'll have that. And that would be a short version of being able to uh, tap into that energy. And Mark just says, have a happy day, everybody. Oh, thank, thank you, Mark. Thank you. And we will see everybody. Uh, well, we'll find out how the weekend develops. We may be on yeah. streaming live from the center. How much fun would that be? Awesome. Uh, so we may see you uh, like actually be in the same room at the same time when we stream oh, next. How fun okay. will that be? All right. But until next time, everyone, have a wonderful morning. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today for the show. The Sonic Shaman is part of the Emergence of Being Contributor Network. Visit emergenceofbeing.com to learn about all the contributors and learn about our services and upcoming events. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. You can contribute to the show by supporting our efforts and sharing our content with those you care about and those who need it most.